Okay, let's see what our new X-Buster upgrade does. Oh, double shot. Kinda. Whoosh! Wow, that was impressive. Yeah, you get a double shot, but if you fire them in succession, you get this super wide shot, which really isn't that useful, to be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so, because most of these stages are, like, in tight, in tight quarters, I guess. Well, it's not any more damaging, it's just a wider shot. <laughs> That'd be good for, like, giant bosses, I guess. Speaking of... Magna Centipede. Kind of. <laughs> it's Magna Centipede's brother. Um... I can't think of a name. <laughs> <laughs> kind of chubby centipede. Well, Magna... That's why it wasn't featured in the game, because they didn't think that kind of chubby centipede would make a really good boss name. I mean, Wire Sponge, yeah, he barely made the cut. Oh, right. <laughs> Too bad, kind of chubby centipede. You weren't quite good enough. Now you go to kind of chubby centipede prison. <laughs> yeah, so apparently we're underground in the jungle for some reason. Oh, I bet. Mecha time! I like how even the underground is like a robot. <laughs> in the future, underground is also a robot. I hate those guys. That was just punch your way through everything. Those guys are so annoying to deal with if you don't have armor. It's like, hey, guess what? I take a billion hits. Empty room. Now that there's a giant ass fist in your face. Oh no, it's back. My computer's attacking again. I'm gonna silence it. <laughs> oh, this thing's eating the ground. Yeah, I think those spikes, like, they're making spikes that hurt you, and it would be too cheap if it was instant death spikes. Just normal death spikes. Wow. That was awesome. What? Surf from the insect. Yay. <laughs> Radical, tubular, and all that. Yeah, man. Insect surfing, dude. Those claws don't look me on the mess. Yeah. What a I want my money back. You gotta love the sound that the, his tail makes. <laughs> First time I heard that when I was a kid, I thought he was just like trying to growl at me. Neon tiger What do tigers dream of when they take a little tiger skin? <laughs> I love the hangover. <laughs> but yeah, this boss gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. He was basically the sting chameleon of this game. Incidentally, also on a jungle level, go figure. Some of the levels are always the devil. <laughs> Especially when they contain things that have light bulbs in their tails. Yeah. Every other game, it's water levels, but nope, not this, not this series. Neon jump. Wolverine. I come to think of it, there's been like a Wolverine kind of thing, and well, two games. Yeah, second one was Wolverine last time, and now we get a, a more fitting Wolverine, I guess. It just this one's actually an animal. It, it just kind of seems like each boss inherits another boss's traits. It's like, <laughs> okay, think about it. In the first game, Sigma kind of inherited. Uh, you know, Star Wars. Which is, <laughs> is the one exception. But then in the second game, um, Flame Sag adopted Sigma's pattern, and then, the, and then Sigma adopted uh, um, Spark Mandrill and Wolverine. <laughs> and, and in this game, uh, Neon Tiger adopted, well, just the claws, you know. Come to think of it, this is all a stretch, just forget it. <laughs> Well, you got him on that spread shot you said wasn't very useful. <laughs> well, it's not, it's, okay, it's somewhat useful, but it's not very powerful. Don't change your story. Uh, I'm on to you. Mega Man Gatling! Who gets machine gun? 
that fires bullets. <laughs> Who's the next on Lucky Sauce? One of my favorites of all time. Gravity Beetle! I mean, just watch this. This is awesome. That city just imploded. Most badass beetle ever. Take that, cool anger. <laughs> You've been usurped. I love this uh, stage theme. I like it in the PS1 version as well, but the SNES one is just more like intense. It's like, yeah! Is this another missile base too? Yep. Remember how I was saying in Blast Hornet stage that, um, if you take out that, that carrier, those uh, guys don't have missile launchers. Well, I meant to say they don't have as, as annoying missile launchers. And they're now green. <laughs> what color were they originally? Red, I believe. I do declare, I believe they were red. Oh my. Oh, I say. Gotta charge my laser just in case, uh... Fat bot shows up. <laughs> yep, don't worry about it. It's time, I guess. So he was like one of the uh, random mini bosses. Well, it's not completely random. It's just that bit or bite show up there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Cloud effects. Also, got a new mech. Just like being in the actual sky. <laughs> Actually, I think this stage is pretty awesome. All things considered. Which I don't know what they are. <laughs> Wheel Gator! No! <laughs> well, the wheels are back. I remember those things in the first game. Yes. We're back with a vengeance! And with more animation frames. It's not like I meant to use the elevator, he just jumps off the wall. Yep. I don't need no elevator! I don't know, it's too slow. Screw that. It's supposed to build up dramatic tension. Hey, it's this- like, Yeah, I'm gonna fight the boss. Yeah! Hey, hey, this theme song makes me want to climb things, okay? <laughs> Let's try out this new mech. It's frog version! Hop! 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 Uh, Screw that. That was kinda weird. It- There- It's you- well, it's really useful underwater, especially considering other mechs can't go underwater. They explode. Or armored carriers, as they're technically called. And I believe this right here is only possible with a dash jump. Huzzah. Whoosh. Right, I'm gonna show you something that, like, I'm not gonna get, but I'm just gonna show you that it's there. In four different stages, there are these super capsules where you can get an additional ability that powers up your current ability. But I'm not going to get any of them. Because I don't Wait, need... Why not? Well, because if you don't get any of them, you can uh, unlock the third secret of the X-Series. Ah, so, first Hadouken, then Shoryuken, and the mystery third one. Tiger Shop? <laughs> yeah, right. Unfortunately, it's not a Street Fighter one. It would have been awesome if it was like the Hurricane Kick or Akuma's teleport or an air fireball, but it's not. Oh yeah, the Hurricane Kick would have made perfect sense actually. Yeah. Anyway, Gravity Beetle himself. I don't know. I don't think he's I that. Kill cities. What do you got to do to me, Bobs? <laughs> I don't think he's that impressive as a boss, but I just like him for some reason. He has freaking size on this on this beetle horn thing. That's awesome. He has what? He has giant ass blades in his beetle horn. Oh yeah. Hercules beetle. Yeah, I'm amazed he hasn't tried to headbutt you into a puddle. Well, he technically did try to rush me earlier. I can't believe I dodged so all of this. Oh. Tantrum attack! <laughs> Electric basket. Well, what's that? I think it makes him, yeah, it makes him jump higher. Like, anti-gravity field. Because he's so heavy. That's why it's called Gravity Beetle. Haha. 
He's like, wait, before I die, let me close my anti-gravity field for you. You proved yourself. Good show, old boy. Oh, yes. I'm actually a little disappointed. That was kind of easy. Well, I, it's not like he's the coolest boss. It's just for some reason I like him. I don't know why. Maybe gravity and beetle just somehow sounds cool. Well, I mean, from that intro, you expect him to kind of be, I don't know, a little bit tougher than that. Yeah. Or at least you expect his gravity power to do a bit more. Oh. Like, I can jump high. Look at me. His weapon's awesome, though. It pretty much pulls everything in. Yeah, that's what he should have done. <laughs> yeah. And a charged up gravity well creates an anti-gravity field, which, like, kills everything by sending it to the atmosphere. Also, new That's boss. Awesome. Hi, Otto! <laughs> Otto from Mega Man, like the original Mega Man series. Bolt Catfish! Wow, uh, this is like the joke boss of this game. He has giant lips. He may be annoying looking, but he's act like he may look kinda dorky, but he's actually pretty tough. Especially if you don't have the weakness. No! Don't wanna go down there! Ah! Oh, oh my god. I must have had invincibility frames, because, like, those were instant death spikes. Wow, well, Zumi, you just jumped off and instant death spikes. I, I must have gotten hit and had invincibility frames, because there's no other way that would happen. Nice. I thought That's it... <laughs> That's okay, I don't need it anymore. Anyway, that area is only accessible sometimes. We would meet with Mysterious Maverick, but the thing is, we're gonna get to that later. Spikes on the wall for no reason. Yep, just to piss him off. Oh, too early. Yeah, I got- I was just sick and tired of people touching the walls in the elevator, and he was like, no, that would be a good idea. If I just put spikes on the wall. It's like I heard from Gravity Beetle some jerk was climbing the walls and not using the elevator. We'll show him. <laughs> I guess this is supposed to be like a power plant or something. I never actually thought about it. I thought it was just generic evil technology base. All right. Well, let's see. Charged up gravity well. Let's give it a try. Weesh! That's right, not whoosh, not wish, weesh. What do you know? Weesh. Oh, not a pot. Enter this capsule, X. I am blinking. Take this armor upgrade. It will instantly make you look more important. It's cool because it creates a little barrier after you get a first hit, so your second hit onward, as long as you have the barrier up, will have decreased damage. Nice. Which makes more sense, you know, than some sort of massive offensive weapon. Like an exploding chest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's just an exploding chest. I mean, who ever heard of that? That would be silly. I know, right? They may as well have fiery deer. Plus, you rather you should break blocks with your head. <laughs> da 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 da! Someone's been breaking stuff. Oh man. Well, we're about out of time for part three, but don't worry, we shall continue. But join us next time with Mecha!